this is the part of the group where it gets a little bit more complicated. And I'm glad you summed it up for us <laughs> just before we are getting underway here. It's our final console group stage match between Junsui of Thailand versus Mariosh of Greece. If I'm right in saying Mariosh is behind quite a lot on goal difference based on his results against Uzmak Abil and, and also Kalahard in this group. Correct, but you also have to think about as well is that Marios has scored goals in this group, mm. whereas there's so many permutations here, folks. Jensui has only scored, I believe, it's two goals in this group. So there are so many different things that we've got to, you know. I mean, if, if Jensui wants to make this simple for us, if he can just go ahead and win this game, <laughs> that would make it so much more simple for everybody here. However, though, he is up against Marios, who we saw start very quick against us, Maccabeel. And again, it just depends on how play styles match up against one another. Of course, I will no doubt hold for bated breath after this game to try and figure out or to let the, the referees and admins figure out who's gotten through to the final alongside Uzmak uh, Again, who made itself very simple for himself, got all nine points and was just like, well, you three can just wore it out amongst <laughs> yourselves. I'll wait for whoever's here in the final and, and, and that be that. But this though, Again, with the stakes that are on the line, with the fact that Marios now Marios needs to win just to have a an entry into the conversation. That that's simple. If Jean Sui wins, there is no conversation to be had. And if it's a draw, again, no conversation to be had. Jen Sui will go through. It is win or bust here for Marios. It just depends on all of the other things that could potentially be triggered here. Well, Marios is starting very nicely here with Okafor. And oh, we said he needs a win, Wes. And I believe he needs to win big. He started off as he did against Uzmak Abil with a goal in the opening five minutes, this time in the opening two. If my memory serves correctly, he was on minus three before this game started. And John Sweet was on zero for goal difference. So it's what, a three goal or two goal swing that is all that is required. And what a start that we have seen here from Marios. Again, just really just, again, clean e-football, just gets it through the lines, gets the wrong side of a defender, and then he's decisive with the decision making. Gets into the box, knows he's got Okafor to his left, slots it across, and the man rolls it home for one goal, two nil. Well, never have I been more grateful for our adrenaline refs, our fantastic group we have behind the scenes running the competition this season because, well, I'm grateful for you as well, Wes, but <laughs> those are the, the people who make it official. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And for Mariosh, he knows the task. He absolutely knows the assignment here. A draw, no good. He needs a win with plenty of goals to go with it. As we've seen throughout today, we've, we've spoken about both of these players' youth across the board. Two of the youngest players we've seen go up against each other head-to-head -head so far. And well, Loftus-Cheek forces a wonderful save. Manyan called into action for Mariosh. And this was a, a real star-studded chance there on the half volley for Loftus-Cheek. Maybe should have tucked that one away. Yeah, big save from Mainan, but it's not quite over in terms of danger here. That's Mori at that front post is the, the target. Down to Liao! It's gone all the way through! Through a forest of players, so many bodies in there, but it creeps into the bottom left of the goal. And Jean Sui is back on level terms and a reminder a draw is good enough for him at this moment in time yeah, so again perfect time to respond it's Tamori against Tamori and again we talk about 50-50s and about who can win the battle it, it then comes down to more down to manual positioning and again just getting the get chance we just getting the player or getting Tamori just in front of his opponent manages to get the flick on and probably finds the only space that he could have put that ball. Well, the console platform today has delivered and then some. 
plenty of action, plenty of goals. As I said before, not a single draw in this group stage so far. I would hate to jinx it, of course, because Marios needs to win by a decent margin. Loftus cheek now for Chinsui, and well, he's got the ball, says the referee, did Marios. Trying to look at, across the board for our Greek representative here. I'm not seeing Olivier Giroud unless I've missed him somewhere. Looks like Benacer is in the midfield. Layout in the centre. Double touch. Around to Rory. Oh. Rattles the woodwork. Danger not cleared just yet. Now might be time to relieve that pressure. But I think the bar is still shaking. What a hit. There's one part I'm thinking of here is that if the first separator is goals scored, Marios might only just need to win this by the odd goal because, again, the amount of goals he's scored in the group stage so far, he's, he's been scoring goals. So, you know, that may be kind of rock and roll kind of uh, play style that we saw against Maccabeel may actually help him out here. Of course, if results stay as it is, as we see Okafor into the box, Results stay as it is, it won't matter a jot. He needs to have the victory. John Swee may not let him have it. Well, the man you mentioned is coming forward with Loftus Cheek. And forces a corner out of Marios. That's a good point you raise, Wes, because the tiebreaker waterfall is a little different in this type of competition. Loftus Cheek from the corner of John Swee. It's finally cleared away by Marios. Goal difference comes after goal scored in that tiebreaker waterfall. So you're right, depending on how close this gets to a cricket score, you may see a twist in the tail. We'll leave that to our referees in the back, but for now, we keep our eyes, eyes peeled to our final match of the group stages today. Simon Kier is able to win the ball back for Jean Sui and the how far side is, well, his touch let him down. Yeah, maybe came uh, unglued there by that stunning input again. We, we saw Kalahard he caught a little bit cold with it. Defensive clearance nearly. And his pocket pinch there. Looks like both men just waiting for a break in the play at the moment. But these last 10, 15 or so in game, Jean Sui has really been starting to turn the screw. Trukawezi, Rafael Liao. Blocked well. By Mariosh, Okafor. Into the feet of Musa, and there's a real chance for Mariosh. He's gone all the way through. With half time approaching, he reinstates his lead. And as you say, Wes, the more goals he scores, the more chance this result could be telling in the tiebreaker equation. What a big moment to score just before half time. They always say in football. It'll change a team talk, and certainly that will for Marios. Again, neat play. It's really quick opportunity. First time strike from the edge of the box, rolls it into the back of that wonderful finish from him. And as you quite rightly said, if it's goals scored, that's the first separator. He may be in the box seat here without even really realising it. Well, you're absolutely correct in saying it's, it's the quick opportunities that Manyan seems to be getting caught out by today. Two goals for Marios. Just before half-time as well. That's just going to plant that seed of doubt into Jun Sui. 
given him things to think about as he changed his tactics or personnel at the half. Speaking of, there might be more goals. The referee well, makes the first half official. Quick glimpse of the stats we saw there. The big stat that matters is it's our good friend Marios. Two goals to one up against Junsui. Uh, again, very much feels like he's in the box seat here, in control of the game as well. With that goal just before half time, just snatches the impetus. Liao tries to latch onto it. Manyan called into action. He's still out of his goal here. As the side swap in the second half, Marios still in the white strip. But key to note, Wes, we, with two youngsters here, you just have to wonder how much have they really read into the rules and regulations and tiebreaker equations. I know when I was competing in esports <laughs> back then, I didn't really care too much about the rule book. I just knew I had to go in and win. But the situational awareness is what can separate you as defensively Marios half gets away with one, half does solid defensive work. I think as a as a uh, an e-football veteran of seeing many tournaments, you always check the rules and regulations because you never quite know what's the first separator. And in this instance, it's goals scored that is the first separator. So if that is the case, which I'm sure we will get a clarification on from one of our production team, oh, see beautiful ball across, really nice ball trick, Wesley. Just denied by the manual goalkeeping of Jean Sui and well, danger still on. Liao inside the box. Simon Kier for company. Oh, it's off the bar again, off the woodwork. Off that left hand upright. Bounces around, but can't quite find a follow up there. Well, this has been a tremendous game. Okafor, now for Jean Sui, dispossessed. The intervention is... Well, it comes at a vital time. Speaking of a vital time, it's time for a quick breather as there's now a chance for players to swap in personnel and swap around tactics here at the ball screen. Yeah, again, this is, we talk about moments, we talk about vital moments. It's these pause, pauses that, as we said, can, it's like dropping a pebble into a lake and those ripples, you're not really going to realise what happens <laughs> until, until it, it works its way out. Certainly here, and as you quite rightly can see, there'll be more of a conservative formation that's shown on your screen here. But of course, please don't be fooled by that. Because of course, if there are sub tactics in play, then the real tactic that they are actually keeping under their wraps, as it were, can actually prove the difference. And it can. You don't want to be giving up too much information to your opponent if you can help it at any point. At the same time, at this point of the game, Wes, with so much on the line, knowing you need a result to go your way, one way or the other. It's how much you gamble at this point, and if you're John Sui. How much you get stuck in that analysis paralysis. Do you overthink things and then you're all of a sudden not confident or not comfortable in how your team's playing? These are all dangers you can face at this stage of the competition. And sometimes lose a game by omission by not doing anything you can sometimes gift your opponent an inroad sostituzione per il Milan numero 10 numero 7 numero 14 numero so after an extended break the corner is swung in and Hernandez for John Sui has a strike close to goal but just too many Defenders between him and that, and well, the pressure is relieved by the man on that far side. I think it was Hernandez. Just 
a little bit slow to get back in front of the defenders. Sixty-five in-game minutes just ticking over now. And a reminder, this is still the group stages, so a draw is a possibility. There's no extra time, no penalties. Those come in the games following this one. Our mobile and console grand final. We will just have to wait and see who will be featuring in those. For now, Jun Soy on the attack. Giroud just a bit lackadaisical with his footwork there. Florenzi. Liao, Musa. Liao is inside, no doubt he's the target here. Back heel towards Giroud, but that's cut out well by Marios. And Pulisic opens up a nice angle with the double touch, but it's just getting very nervy here. And Liao for Marios can't latch on to that one too. Both players going for this. Yeah, they're very much uh, throwing caution to the wind here and kind of a, maybe a little bit, as you mentioned, in terms of how much they really know the kind of the the potential reactions that can happen as a result of these, this result in itself. Musa. Oh, lovely ball to Giroud. Oh, saved by Manyan. That is a very important save. In truth, it was straight at him, but you expect Giroud to produce a finish in that type of scenario. How much will that frustrate Jean Sweet? Needing a goal in these final 10 in-game minutes. Oh, it looked like a good challenge there, but the referee sees it differently. More changes, and I think I speak for everyone, Wes, whatever happens following this game, we have two fantastic competitors in the future of eFootball eSports is very bright indeed. Yeah, absolutely. If you, you know, you may have seen some names that were from yesteryear. These are the new ones that are on the block, as it were. Yeah, so just to kind of clarify, uh, I had my, had my rules just a slight wrong way around here it's not gold scored first goal difference so that even in itself complicates things even more and it's goal differences then goal scored then head to head and if everything matches up at that point there's an extra match that might be needed Christian Pulisic inside the box to Loftus Cheek Liao is waiting he gets on it and who's there it's Olivier Giroud can he produce a finish No clear sight of goal. Florenzi for Junsui just searching for that equaliser. End-to-end -end stuff here. You just don't know which way this is going to go. Good read by Marioche. Met in kind by the Florenzi of Jean Sui, but that's a bit of a waste and we're in the 90th now. Stoppage time, is there a last attack here? Pulisic goes for it, maybe trying to catch Manyan off, off his line, maybe a missed input. Well, it looks like this one might be up to the boffins in the back, Wes. Unless... There's a chance, there's not. Mariosh will take the three points with a two to one scoreline. What a game!